Welcome back, everyone. Our next guest is a Team Canada high diver who's incredibly oh. daring. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Incredibly daring TikTok videos have turned her wow. into a social media oh. sensation. Oh. Oh. She's also a mental health advocate, building an online yes. community for her 3.5 million followers. We're so excited to have the fearless and the very talented Molly Carlson joining us today. Welcome to the show. Those video clips are just incredible. Like, I know you guys like, are all like, what is happening? <laughs> <laughs> but you have been, you were platform diving from the age of nine years old, yes. but then more recently you started competing in the world of cliff diving, which looks absolutely terrifying. <laughs> Talk about first, what is this extreme sport all about? And how, yeah. What made you fall in love with it? Yeah, so I was doing regular diving and I went to university <gasps> on scholarship oh. and then <laughs> the video is still fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, yeah, and COVID hit. So I had this, like, I didn't get to do my final event as a oh. diver and my heart was like okay I'm not finished like I want to go higher I want to do more and I was like I want to be famous like let's go <laughs> yeah, yeah. Up. so yeah I went higher and team Canada was like yes this is great and we just kept going with it and then I shared my journey on social media and went viral so here we are wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, you're not only you're also graceful. Like, yeah. how, that's not fair. That's yeah. not fair. Yeah. You're brave and graceful. Um, I've yeah. seen your TikTok videos pop up in my feed for really? a long time now. Yeah, I'm a huge fan. Uh, they make me feel uh, like amazed and terrified. Oh. So I, um, you know, you shoot and, and do everything yourself. How much work goes into that? Yeah. yeah. Mm. I love it. I tell my coach right away, like, I really have the passion oh, yeah. of content creating. So, you know, when I when I post my videos, it's all me. Like, I'm using, you know, cap cut in the corner just yeah, yeah, yeah. after practice and putting it up right away because like I want to be authentic and share like my point of yeah. view of everything yeah. and my mom's like can you stop posting these videos like you're freaking me yeah. out <laughs> your poor mother <laughs> your poor mother oh my god and, and your boyfriend is yeah. also a diver and so you post videos diving with him and your friends when you do a stunt like this involving 11 people basic question like how do you make sure oh you're not <gasps> oh like, <laughs> how do you make sure? Let's look at this. This is the 11. Did, did, wow. Do you guys get scared that you're going to smash into each other? <laughs> I forgot. That was my first time ever doing, like, all together. And the bridge is, like, very slippery in general. So you're up there, like, trying to find your balance on your own. And then you look to the right, and there's 11 people. And you're, okay, focus on you. And how they do it is, like, the first person goes far, second person goes yeah. not oh, far. Oh, okay. Third far, then little, then far, then little. And they're like, you're jumping far into the rocks on the end. And I'm like, no, I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> I can't so, parallel park. Like, how are you doing this? Like, that's so coordinated. Goodness. Oh. Okay, but I, I just want to kind of go back to the fear. Because uh, that's the terrifying. <laughs> and the thing is, it's you, you have expressed that you are afraid as well. You right. still do it, which is the difference between you and me and Jack. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So uh, talk to me about mm -hmm. the impact on you when something doesn't go quite right. Exactly. And... Have you been like hurt before? You know, <laughs> yeah. like, what's Good the reality? Question. Luckily, like my coach will never send us up to a high platform if we're not like 100% ready to do the dive mentally and physically. Mm. So the mental side of it is just as important because you wouldn't be up there throwing yeah. these dives in front of the Eiffel Tower distracted and then <laughs> try to do it correctly. So I've landed like poorly once, like that right there. Yeah. Good timing. But um, yeah, that was the one time and, and you're with physios and they're scuba diving in the water ready to go so they have everything available for you if anything is to go wrong but ideally you're so prepared mentally and physically yeah. to to do the right dive yeah. <laughs> wow. so before yeah. your cliff diving career uh, really really took off you were a five-time junior national diving champion here in wow. Canada and you mentioned you had <laughs> yeah you had your sights set on going to the Rio Olympics in nice. 2016. Um, but when that didn't happen, you found yourself struggling with an eating disorder. So mm -hmm. can you talk about what your mental health journey has looked like? Yeah, I love that picture of baby Molly. Like, if I could <laughs> go back and talk Aww. to her, I would just say, you know, like, you need to love you for you. And you have to dive because it's a passion. And I started comparing my... I was a taller diver. And in diving, that's harder to spin. And I, I was trying to, you know, if I wanted to go to the Olympics, do I have to be smaller? And so I went through this journey of, you know, 
I went through binge eating disorder and body dysmorphia and it was just like a super dark phase and I felt alone. And now looking back, I'm like, I never want another athlete to feel alone in that journey. That's why I've created this platform and used my hashtag brave gang so yeah. everyone can come together and just support one another because now I appreciate my body, I love who I am and I stand on those platforms proud. Wow. Thank you. Can you talk to me a little bit? You mentioned c your coaches, and yes. I can imagine that they play a role in your, your mental health journey as well. What is that relationship like? It's I'm imagining it's uh. very, very dear <laughs> and important. Yeah, on the screen, my coach, Stefan Lapointe, he is incredible. He's been working with probably teenage girls for 10 years, and he knows how crazy we can be, you know? <laughs> girls come into practice, and they're like, I don't want to do it today. And he's like, yeah. OK, like, yeah. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fighting you on that, but you know, there's so many athletes that go through mental health struggles and, and body appearance and you're changing, like women yeah. especially, you change so much over the course mm -hmm. of a career in, in sport and so a coach to understand that and respect that is so important. Like if you're showing up every day insecure of yourself, then your coach is pushing you to do things you're, you're not feeling comfortable with, then you're not going to have that good relationship and you won't be the best athlete you can be. Oh, wow, that's incredible. <laughs> you're joining other coaches and athletes in a mental health campaign that just launched yesterday. Tell us yes. about it. Yes, yeah. So Coaching um, Association of Canada just launched their mental health and sport um, resource hub. So now all coaches across Canada of, at any level can go on and learn like literature on mental health and, you know, find this knowledge to be able to understand both what the athlete's going mm -hmm. through and how to like take care of yourself. You can't be this influential person to an athlete if you don't have, you know, mental health for yourself. Yeah. And that's so important in every career, really. <laughs> Molly, Love you that. are such a treat. Thank you so yeah, much. Thank, thank you. you. It's filled with discussions, debates, and some laughs. Head there now, like, and subscribe.